Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free memory. Hurry before it's past. What's going on, YouTube? It's one and only Noxo, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, it's a special day. It's a day when you go skipping through a field of flowers and rainbows because Bo Burnham is back. This right here is none other than repeat stuff. One. Love songs used to be so beautiful. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. T.S. Eliot. I think T.S. Eliot actually said that. It's one of his first poems, wasn't it? It's just so off-putting because Bo says it in his like typical dry, deadpan style. So you think like it's just typical Bo humor, but <laughs> no, that's actually facts. It's the sky like a patient etherized upon a table. T.S. Eliot. Oh, where are we going? Nowadays, thanks to corporately owned pop stars, love songs are even more beautiful. How beautiful are today's love songs? I'll show you. I love your hair, I love your name, I love the way you say it. I love your heart and you're so smart. <laughs> what is everybody doing? There's hula hoops and scooters going on. I mean, when I go to a party, I always bring a good hula hoop with me, but I, I love how he opens this up. Corporately owned pop stars. So that right there is the big marker for uh, what's about to go down. I love your hair, I love your name, I love the way you say it. I love your heart and you're so smart because you gave away it. I love your... <laughs> well done. Well done. You gave your heart to me. That obviously means that you have a higher level of intelligence. But I love like just the general compliments. Hey, love your hair. You got a great name. And the way that you can pronounce your own name and enunciate it, you are winning at life. Keep it up. Love songs. I'll show you. I love your hair. I love your name. I love the way you say it. I love your heart and you're so smart because you gave away it. I love your sis. I love your dad. I love your mom. But more than all of that, I love the fact that you are dumb enough. Swag. Do not realize it. <laughs> Did he just say swag in the mix? I think so. But more than all of that, I love the fact that you... You know what I love just about this beat and this happy-go-lucky behavior? It just makes you want to, like, skip through a field of rainbows and make out with unicorns. You are dumb enough. Swag. Do not realize everything I've said has been said before in High a five. thousand ways, in a thousand songs, sung with the same four chords, but you'll still love it and let me finger you. Finger you. Yeah, finger you. Finger you. Oh, what? Girl, what? Like well, that took a dark turn very quickly. Everything was so just nice and wonderful. And then Bo turns into a demon right before our eyes. And it just like sucks out my soul. <laughs> like we're going here. Everything's great. I love your family. I love all of this stuff. And hopefully my music allows me to capitalize upon you sexually and then finger you. <laughs> Next time I go like to order my McFlurry. What do you mean the McFlurry machine's broken? I'm going to finger your face. Thousand songs. What? What is wrong with me? Sung with the same four chords, but you'll still love it and let me finger you. Yeah. Shots fired left and right at the music industry and corporate pop because, I mean, there's plenty of videos out now. It's easy to go YouTube them. Like, the same four chords are used in so many popular hit songs. It is scary. And, and there's like, I've seen a video where they abstract it and they just show you that and they play it and insert different lyrics and you hear the melodies. And you're like, oh my God, it's all the same. We've been living in the matrix the whole time eating the wrong pills. Some with the same four chords, but you'll still love it and let me finger you. Yeah, finger you. Finger you. Oh girl, I hope you don't think that I'm rude when I tell you that I love you, boo. Don't see through this I get serious Bo Bieber vibes from this. Early constructed ruse. Did that doggy just get cock blocked? You don't see through this cleverly constructed Who who says no to a dog? Look look how cute he is! Designed by a marketing team, cashing in on puberty and low self-esteem. And girls wow. desperate need to feel loved. 
cashing in on puberty and low self-esteem and girls desperate need to get love designed by a marketing team because so many artists nowadays they don't even write their own lyrics they have a team of ghostwriters they have a team of stylists they just have a team of marketing and advertising they are surrounded by an army of corporately hired employees that want to figure out the best way to get their music out to as many ears as possible and definitely take advantage of those hitting those early teenage years when they're not sure about their lives they're not sure about their self-esteem but guess what you got music and you can fall in love and join this fandom and just skip hand in hand through it and everything is magical and love self-esteem and girls desperate need to feel love To feel loved. What? <laughs> What's the dude on the right? <laughs> oh, homeboy on the right is just giving a uh, casual BJ right there. Look at the O face from Bo. America says we love a chorus, but don't get complicated. Really? Right. Obviously, again, we're talking about the target audience and market, right? Notice how everybody's like got juice boxes in their hands. We're not all like smoking cigarettes, drinking beers, partying because we're much too young for that. See the statement that he's making visually? <laughs> what? I just noticed the dude with the bubbles behind Bo. You ever just want to like skip naked through a field and just have like a bubble thing like that trailing behind you? Maybe not. For us, though meaning might be missing. We need to know the words after just one listen. So repeat stuff, 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 repeat stuff. Yeah. Repeat stuff. Yeah, repeat stuff. I love my The best chorus I have ever heard from Bo. Repeat stuff. But it's so true though. Like, we want to make it catchy, so we repeat lines. And we try to oversimplify it so that it gets stuck in your head. Like those great songs that no matter how old you are or how much time has passed, you will still sing them to this day at the most awkward of moments. Like even me. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Come on. You know you know. Repeat stuff. Yeah, repeat stuff. I love my baby and you know I couldn't live without her But now I need to make every girl think the song's about her Just to make sure that they spread it like the plague So I describe my dream <laughs> Again, like we're going this way And all of a sudden we just like crash into oncoming traffic out of nowhere Like Poe's lyrics are so lighthearted And then spread it like the plague I mean that is going on a Valentine's Day card Girl think the song's about her Just to make sure that they spread it like the plague So I describe my dream girl as really really vague like I love your hands cause your fingerprints are like no other I love your eyes and their bluish brownish greenish color ah. I love it when you smile Oh so clever right Everyone's fingerprints are unique to themselves But he is hitting on exactly what happens within so many love songs right We explore the same topics, the same themes And we try to write them as generalized as possible So whoever is listening can insert themselves into it and pretend that the song is about them and feel like they're a part of something and this pop song and this idol really loves them. Sir like no other. I love your eyes and their bluish brownish greenish color. I love it when What was that look? He gave it fingerprints are like no other. I love your eyes and their bluish brownish greenish color. Right there. That was a uh that was a murder. Oh my god. That poor girl. Color. I love it when you smile, that you smile wide, and I love how your torso has an arm on either side now. If you're True. my agent, you might be thinking, oh no, sound the alarms. You're not appealing to little girls. You hear the little like chimes, like almost like nursery rhyme chimes that he inserts throughout this. I love that. Don't have arms. Hang on. Alarms. You're not appealing to little girls who don't have arms, but they can't use iTunes, so. Oh, shit. Oh, girl, I hope you don't oh, wow if you don't have arms i'm sorry you're fucked oh my god oh this takes things to a whole new level you talk about dark humor right because we want to appeal to as many people as possible but actually even if we offend the people who don't have arms it's okay they can't buy our music and the whole point is we want them to buy so if they can't buy they're excluded I am the servant of darkness. I also hope that you don't say through. This cleverly 
<laughs> rivers shall run red with the blood of virgins. I love this underneath demonic track over top of this lovely pop singing. Wow. Oh, and even this, this is just, I'm, I'm loving this. I, this is so clever from Bo. Like we have like your typical, let's put out the cardboard mat and do the b-boying, you know, breakdancing sequence. Right there. Yep. And everybody's in a circle around. Everybody gets a turn dancing. I love when that happens in a music video. Never seen that before. And then what is this? A, a candlelight vigil to Bo after it? Oh, God. There it is. We need to know the words. There it is. Just one listen, so repeat. They <laughs> just say, what the fuck? I love it. Repeat stuff, 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 and there he is with like the demonic Vecna eyes. I feel like my limbs are about to be torn apart from each other. Repeat stuff, repeat stuff, repeat. I mean this, well, that is not a dance move to try at home, boys and girls. Repeat stuff, repeat stuff, repeat stuff, yeah. Yes. Wow. Repeat it. Repeat it to the day you die. Gonna have a beautiful piano solo I'm now. I'm magazines full of model teens so far above you. So read them and hate yourself. Then pay me to tell you I love you. I love you. Oh, God. And that was not creepy at all. I love how it the tone just shifts right there. It gets serious, and yet it's not serious. It's scary at the same time, almost stalkerish when he whispers, I love you to the little girl. But here we are again, just exploiting and showcasing that just cycle of taking advantage of young teens, right? Making music that panders to as wide and generalized an audience as possible, right? So then that's what they digest. Then they want to go buy these magazines because their favorite stars are on the cover of the magazine. They look at these lifestyles within these magazines. It contributes to their low self-esteem, right? They feel worse about themselves. They go on, they put the pop song back on, helps them feel better because they think it's about them. They think that they love them. And then round and round we go with this cycle of low self-esteem, being lifted up, low self-esteem. They're just addicted and connected connected to this fandom. Wow. Then pay me to tell you I love you. Generic teen. Get hair that rocks. Yeah, exactly. Is that an Illuminati pyramid on the backside of it? Yeah. There's just so many Easter eggs in this. And your parents will always come along. Because their little girl is in love. And how could love be wrong? As a father of children, I am worried. How could love be wrong? When you repeat stuff, repeat stuff, repeat yeah. stuff, repeat 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 stuff. What was again? He's got all this talking and like clashing voices underneath the mix. I just heard, "Who the fuck are you?" Did we just get a hail Hitler? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we know it's not right. We know it's not funny, but we'll stop beating this dead horse when it stops spitting out. Well, this video is sponsored by Hannibal Lecter. Uh, have a heart a day. Keeps the doctor away. It's good for you. Get your protein in, I guess. Bo is making the blood of virgins rain on this track. I mean, I, I really love the dark humor 
and the satanic, <laughs> demonic infiltration of pop music. But he uses all of that as a bigger critique of love songs within the pop industry and how it's all marketed by a massive team and how it's all just overgeneralized exploration of the same topics, the same four chords just regurgitated to us and round and round the cycle goes because it keeps pumping out money, beating a dead horse, as he says, towards the end. I'm a little scared, uh, but also at the same time, I'm happy because it made me laugh and violence is fun, children. Bo Burnham, you were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, if you're here at the end, obviously enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor, support the channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you. Stay safe, stay positive. It's Ronaldo Knoxville. Repeat stuff. I'll catch you again.